Hello and welcome again to my channel with me Dr. Sunanda Roy. As a teacher educator, I have found that Microsoft PowerPoint presentation is a very useful application for teachers. Teachers can make interesting and attractive presentations with this application. These presentations can be used during actual face-to-face -face classroom teaching or can be made into videos for asynchronous online learning. So students can watch these videos as per their convenience. You may have seen my previous video on creating a video using Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. If not, I recommend that you go through the video before watching this one. The link has been given in the description box. If you have already seen the video, then let's proceed to learning how to trim the audio in a PowerPoint presentation. I will be using one of my earlier videos for demonstrating. If you want to insert audio into your presentation, then you need to click on insert. You will see an option at the far right side labeled audio. Clicking on it, you will get a drop down box with three options. You could insert an audio file saved in your computer or a clip art audio or you could also insert a record audio. I have already recorded the narration for the presentation using record slideshow. These steps have been described in a video titled creating a video using Microsoft PowerPoint presentation which I was talking about earlier. So you can see that there is a speaker icon in the bottom right corner of the slide. Let's listen to the audio recorded with the slide. Hello and welcome friends. Let's continue our journey learning more about inclusive education with me, Dr. Sunanda Roy. We all know that inclusive education aims at giving good quality education to diverse learners under the same roof. Diversity among learners also occurs due to different learning styles that we have. In this video, we will learn about the three main learning styles given in the VAC model. You could hear a background noise in the beginning. Now we will try to remove that noise and also reduce the duration of the recorded narration. It's very simple. Just follow the steps. If you bring your cursor on the speaker button, you will find a play button with these controls. If you click on play button, you will be able to hear the recorded narration. Clicking on the same button will pause the recording. That is the audio will get paused. To trim the audio, you have to click on the playback tab. Under the playback tab, you will find many options on the ribbon. Please remember that this can be done only if the presentation is saved as a PPTX. Next, click on the Trim Audio option. You will see this trimming dialog box. Let's try and understand it, looking at it more closely. The box to the left side shows the start time. It coincides with the green marker. The box on the right hand corner indicates the end time of the audio on the slide. It coincides with the red marker. The duration of the slide is the same as the end time as we have not trimmed the audio. This area shows the sound waves of the recording. Remember, this shows the duration of the recording. If you want to trim the starting point of the recording, then just drag the green marker to the right. You can see that there is a gray line that has started vibrating, indicating where I have started my narration. So, 
the narrower gray line indicates the background noise before any narration. I simply drag the green marker to the desired place. Now, to trim the later part of the narration, I drag the marker to where I want the narration to stop. Remember to listen to the recording before trimming so that you know where you want to place your red and green trimmers. Now we will see that the start time has changed to 7.473 seconds or approximately 7 seconds from the earlier 0 seconds as it was shown. This is because we have trimmed the first 7 seconds or so of the video. The end time too has changed. It has changed from the earlier 48 seconds to now 26 seconds as we have trimmed the narration short. Hence, the duration of the video, which was earlier on 48 seconds, has now come to approximately 19 seconds. Now, we click on OK. Let's listen to the narration trimmed on the video. Hello and welcome friends. Let's continue our journey learning more about inclusive education with me, Dr. Sunanda Roy. We all know that inclusive education aims at giving good quality education to diverse learners under the same roof. So, could you make out the difference between the previous video and this video? The audio here, the unwanted background noise has been removed and the narration has shortened. So the second audio sounds much more professional than the first one that we saw. The Microsoft PowerPoint presentation allows users to do many more adjustments with the audio. Under the playback tab, there are many options. We can choose to fade in or fade out the audio. Make sure you select hide during the show. Otherwise, the speaker icon on the bottom right will be visible during the slideshow and that really doesn't look very attractive nor does it look very professional. If you click on the volume button, a drop-down box will appear and you can adjust the volume of the audio. Suppose you have inserted a music clip and you want it to play it on a loop again and again until you stop you can click on this button. Clicking on the button below it will rewind the audio or video clip after it's done playing. You can also select for the audio to start automatically on click. That means you will have to click for the audio to start or for your audio to play across the slides. The last option is in case you insert a music which you want to play in the background during the whole presentation. It's really fun to play around with these options on PowerPoint presentation. You can do so many things to make your presentation and videos interactive, attractive and interesting. Please remember to save the presentation after making the changes. Once you are satisfied with your recording, then you can save the file in any of the video formats and share it with your students. In another video, I have demonstrated how to reduce the size of the video using free video compressor so that you can share your videos using email and other social media platforms. Reducing the size of the videos will make them easier to share and will not take up too much space of your students or receivers devices. The links of both my videos on creating a video using Microsoft PowerPoint presentation and compressing videos for sending via email, WhatsApp and social media platforms are given in the description box. You will also see the links on the screen. I hope you liked this video and will prepare interesting videos for your students. I would like to acknowledge the valuable help that I get from my father, Mr. Siddharth Roy, 
from whom I have learnt all that I know about PowerPoint presentation. So until next time, thank you so much for watching the video.